Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum in third angle. We have to draw front view and length 100. Height is 10 plus 60 plus 25, 95. And width is 40 plus 15 plus 40. Width is also 95. So we'll start in front view. You will see this part, this part, this slope. So first we'll start with this part. Height is 10. So here height is 20. And I'll mark 10 also. And then I'll draw horizontal line. Now I know this distance is how much? 70. So I will take 70. And I will draw a vertical line. This is 10. Then you take 50. So we are done with the lower portion. After that, we will see this part. It will be just a straight line. Now see. This will be also a straight line. From here we will draw horizontal line. So we are done with front view. Almost front view is done. Apart from that middle line and dotted line. See in front view this part is there but we don't know till what height that you can get only from side view. And this dotted part you can get from top view. So now what I'll do, I will draw side view. So first I will draw lower plate. And that 40, 15, 40 we can mark. After that, we will go up to draw a circle. How much I have to go up? I have to go up by 16. And then, then go inside by 25. 60 and then go inside by 25. See this. You take 25 inside. And you can draw axis line. Now we draw a circle, semi circle of radius 25 and again you draw radius 15. Then you draw a vertical line. See how much is this height? 10. draw this line lower part and then 
we need to draw this and then we need to draw this slope wherever it will cut that will be the point that we will project in front view to draw that rectangle that slope which will appear as a rectangle always remember whenever you draw rib it will be always tangent so in side view we'll draw tangent to that circle and in front view now when we project we project that point from side view and see we will go till there and we'll draw a slight curve freehand this will show that rib is merging in that circular part and then we need to draw a dotted line for this circle and we need to draw axis line now see we need to draw this 20 slot also that also we can draw we can draw it when we draw it in the top view from there also we can project or we can take directly 20 mm and we can draw dotted line so we are done with front view and side view left and side view now we need to draw top view So for top view, we'll project this. Now again, we'll mark forty, fifteen, forty. We'll draw this part in top view. This will be twenty. See, this is how it will appear. So we are done with this part in top view. Now we'll draw this part. This circular part will appear as a rectangle. So we can project line from here. So I will extend this line and then I will extend this rib also. Rectangle. Now here also, this line is not there. See, the one which I am erasing, it is not there, and we didn't, and we don't know how long this line will go. So from here, see this, we'll project up, the same point which we used in front view. Now same point, I will take it up. You don't have to do circle like this in exam. It is only for your understanding. I am doing this. and from here you draw horizontal line so wherever they intersect with those vertical lines so your rib will be till that part and you draw a slight curve on both the side this will be done this much will be done the middle portion won't be done over here intersection won't be done
after this we'll draw the extreme top portion that will be dark now we need to draw dotted for this circle so we can find the center point it is 50 so 2.5 is center point and we'll take 1.5 1.5 both the sides or you project from side view whatever you feel comfortable See, it is the same point. Then same way you project these lines or you take 15, 15. But you need to show few projections. So we are done with front view, top view and left hand side of the sum. We can show dimensioning like this whenever you have a circle, its radius 25. So we will show it like this. Always remember to do 8 to 9 dimensions in your sum when it is for 26 mark. Minimum 8 to 9 dimensions you should do. And circle always you should do it like. So that's why I am showing you. You can write labeling front view, left hand side view and top view. Okay, so I hope everyone understood this sum. Thank you.